In this short video, we will see how to use the cursors on the oscilloscope of the Analog Discovery 2. The setup I have here is a 1 kHz sine wave into the input of an amplifier. This is shown by channel 1, the yellow trace. The output of the amplifier is on channel 2, the blue trace. You can see the different voltages per division for the two channels and the input has been set to 100 millivolts peak to peak, which is about five divisions on this particular setting here. We are interested in measuring the peak to peak value of the output now. And to do that, we can click on Y cursors and then click on Normal. This adds a cursor, but it's set to measure channel one. We want to set it to channel two. Then we drag it to the, peak, to the uh, bottom, lower peak of the output. Next, I add a delta cursor. Also set that to channel two and move that to the upper peak of the output. We have finished placing the cursors, but we can't read any number on here because the window is too narrow. I can detach the window resize it in order to get a reading of the numbers. I can also drag this into the waveforms window and create another sub panel inside waveform itself. The peak to peak of the output is about 1.88 volts. The input on the other hand is 0.1 volts peak to peak. So the output 1.88 divided by the input 0.1 gives us a gain of negative 18.8. Negative due to the fact that the input and output are at 180 degrees out of phase. 